Hi, and welcome to TC Music for another live show in the studio here at MTM. It's 9 o'clock, Thursday night, May 25th, and I'm going to give you a little rundown of upcoming events happening in the cities uh, this weekend and through the Labor Day weekend. Uh, at the Medina Ballroom tonight is uh, Leon Russell and Edgar Winter in concert. Uh, at 7th Street Entry, a British group called New Model Army is playing with Babel 17 and Hex Set. That ought to be something we're checking out. Tomorrow night, Friday night, May 26th, at the Avalon Theater, White Zombies playing with special guests. At the Caboose, Lucky Dube, a reggae act with special guests. At Harriet Island, as part of the World Series of Ribs, Kenny G is performing at 8.30 with his fusion band, so that might be worth checking out. At 7th Street Entry, tomorrow night, Friday night, is Tommy Roberts' new group, uh, the, the Life. And uh, they're attracting some uh, album interest, some label interest there. And their special guests are going to be The Sparrows and 27 Various. Uh, the 27th, Saturday night at the Bel Ray Ballroom, Linwood Slim and the Solid Senders. At First Avenue is a benefit, Medal for Man's Best Friend. Uh, it's uh, for the Minneapolis Humane Society or Hennepin County Humane Society. And the acts are going to be Coup de Gras, Disturbed, Soylent Green, Insidious Prophet, Animosity, and the doors open at 3 in the afternoon for this show. So that should be a full day of metal madness. At Harriet Island Saturday night is Cool and the Gang performing at 8.30. So that might be checking out. Um, St. Anthony, Maine from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock on Saturday night is a Pendulum Records party uh, with acts Mile One, Another Carnival, Two Minute Warning, and The Throwbacks. Um, Sunday, Monday, Labor Day weekend, Memorial Day, which is it? It's Memorial Day, right? Memorial Day weekend. There's a lot of acts and a lot of things going on in town, so check those out. Next Tuesday at the Caboose is the, is the uh, Spaghetti Kegger, and it may be the last Spaghetti Kegger for the summer. Uh, the Blue Hippos are playing with some extra guests, and uh, starting June 1st, the Caboose is going to have brew and barbecue keggers. Tuesday. That's free barbecue and brew from 7 to 9 or something, and then a lot of big bands. Uh, the Widgets start a few. Uh, they're beginning that on, on the 1st of June. Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, there's something to note. Landmark Center is hosting a uh, homeless benefit dinner. And it's, uh, the proceeds will go for the Hope for the Homeless Charity Fund. Um, the acts involved are Samoa, the vocal group Spirit, uh, special guest Mary Jane Arm, Patty Peterson, Lonnie Knight, and others. Um, all those proceeds go to the homeless. And it might be well worth your, uh, your $30. Yes, it's 30 bucks, but that $30 will feed a lot more than two or three people. And it'll also provide some, uh, some temporary or permanent uh, shelter for the homeless. And for more information on that show, call 824-2647. Uh, we're going to go to our guests here in the studio in a minute, but we want to remind you that if you have questions or comments for our guests or an answer to their trivia question, which they're about to present, feel free to call us at 521-9886. You can talk live on the air to our in-studio guests at 521-9886. And now, with no further hesitation, we introduce to you some members of the Gear Daddies. Hi. 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 Our live <laughs> studio audience is very appreciative. From left to right, we have... My name's Nick. Nick. Martin. Randy. And Randy. And it's a three-piece act, the Gear Daddies? Oh, our drummer no. is missing. The drummer is tonight. missing. And that yeah. might pertain to our trivia question tonight. Uh, yeah. Why don't you want to speak right up and yeah. give them the question? Okay, our trivia question is, what is our drummer's name, first name? His real name. His real Again, name. the drummer's? The drummer's first name. The drummer's first name in the group The Gear Daddies. If you have an answer to that question, call in now at 521-9886 and win a valuable prize, which which Randy's about to tell you what it is. The valuable prize is? Um, two tickets <laughs> <laughs> to the state fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, to the F-Town. The F-Town? Saturday night. This coming Saturday, the yeah. 20s. Why didn't I have that? On? OK. Yeah. So two tickets to the Uptown. If you can answer the question, who is the drummer? Now, what's the first name? His real first name. His real first name. Yeah. Also, I, I think people should try and make it down to the Uptown on Saturday, because it's like it's the last kegger at thing at the Caboose. This is going to be the Uptown's last uh, corn dog and fresca. Corn dog and fresca? <laughs> Feed. On the yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've had the really? last X-Boy really? show, and now it's the last corn dog fresca. Saturday that they've been having for a while. A lot of more pertinent nine. facts here. Um, tell us about the band. Tell us a little about how it started, where it's going. Oh. <laughs> well, it, it started <laughs> it's in Austin going. and uh, moved to the cities and. Uh, Austin, Texas. Austin, Austin Minnesota. Minnesota. Austin, Lovely Austin, Minnesota. Population yeah. twenty-six thousand two hundred ten. Home <laughs> of Hormel. 
You Sam. still travel back there and do a lot of shows too, don't you? No, we don't do many shows, but we travel back to see our parents and such. <laughs> <laughs> Is oh. line one holding? Line one <laughs> holding. Let's see who's on line one. <laughs> Hi, you're on live with TC Music and the Gear Daddies. Hello. 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 You're on live. All right. Uh, is uh, the drummer's name John Bonham? No. Y Close. Close. <laughs> Close. Close. I thought he had it. Do you have a question for the band at all? Yeah, do I win? <laughs> no, you don't win. Oh, Sorry. come on. Yeah. Give it to him. <laughs> Sorry. You have no to one else calls you do. Guess another name for free. Uh, Marty. <laughs> Long. <laughs> but thanks for calling. Brandy. <laughs> have a good night. <laughs> and line three is home. Let's get them. Line three. Hello, you're on TC Music. Howdy. Howdy. Hi. How's Billy sound? Billy's close, but close, it's not but quite correct. We're looking for the cigar. actual birth name of the drummer. His given name. We just call him Billy. Try a guess. Take William. A Pardon me? No. William? No. Nope. Sorry. Sue. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Have a good night. How are you? <laughs> so, from Austin, Minnesota to St. Paul, Minneapolis, how many years ago was this change? Uh, about four? four or five. And the band yeah. was in the same lineup then as it is now? Oh, uh, no. It's no, it's, uh, it is different. It formed, it formed as it is n in the cities. We played in various bands together in Austin. In and high so school. now, well, you have a, a repertoire that's pretty extensive too. About how many songs could you call from to play? Covers and yeah, such. Yeah. Oh, a cover. We know about 200, 200 and some <coughs> covers, and uh, plus our originals. Least, yeah. Me. How many originals? Tight. Forty. Yeah, Forty. About Forty originals. See, in one of the first groups I was ever in, we used, instead of titling our originals, we'd number them. That's a good idea. So we had up to four, but forty. You start to lose track of patterns and and ways to get through it. Who writes the music? Uh, I write a lot of it, and our missing drummer, who we call Billy, who we call Billy, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> writes some. Oh, another, another phone call. Another, another phone call. Let's see if they know. Hi, you're on TC Music. Yes, yeah, it's Susan. It's not Susan. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try another guess? He called before. Oh, uh, you're right. Maybe he's like Susan. <laughs> That's the same guy. He does look like a Susan. He does. <laughs> well, just show up at the Uptown and tell him you won the contest, and you should get in for free. Okay. And I think that'll work. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Bye, Skip. Now, I could tell he really wanted to wanted to get into that gig for sure. Yeah. So we'll put Larry on the list for uh, the Uptown. <laughs> um, so f uh, from a, a nucleus of your writing and your lyrics, does does it go into a cooperative thing with the other members, or do you just say, okay, play this chord? Or no, I, I pretty much come in with the real skeleton, and everyone Chips arranges in. arranges their own parts when we rehearse. What do we have for recorded music? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's our, it's our, in, or our TC Music uh, fish cam, is that what fish we're calling cam. it? It's the fish cam. <laughs> is that a perch? A trout. A walleye perch. trout, maybe? Uh, trout. Do you guys fish? Oh, yeah. I think get a chance. You get a lot of that's chances? What, that's where uh, Billy is now. Out fishing. Fishing, fishing yep. yeah. So, what's in the? What have you got uh, going these days? I know. Were you up for awards for this Minnesota music thing? Don't or? don't even bring <laughs> it up. <laughs> it's a sore spot. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. What happened? You shut out. <laughs> shut out. Shut out. We were up. You for couldn't get in. No, I mean we were, we were up for awards and we didn't win a single one. Not a single one. It's it's rigged. Were you up it's for a a yeah. whistle? Yeah. We up for the best uh, for the uh, washboard? Uh, we were uh, uh, timbales. Timbales <laughs> and uh, folk blues, best folk Once blues, again. and, and uh, best line drawing of a guitar. Tin whistle. Tin whistle. Yeah, you were up for that. I was up for that two years ago. Mm -hmm. So, out of these forty songs that we've got comprised here, how how many of these are on record or tapes that are available to the masses? E Eleven. Eleven. Eleven, and that's on how many products? A single and an album, an LP. What's how many songs in the LP? Ten. And I haven't got a cut. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, got I, one. I just got one uh, about a week ago. This is on what label? One. Gark. On Gark Records. Yes. A very up and coming. Mm -hmm. They did Power Man too. Label, yeah. They did? Sure. Yeah, they so. recorded at Gark. I know that. So who produced? Who engineered? All these fun statistics? Yeah. Jay Lee. Jay Lee was there. Was the engineer. And our good friend Jim Walsh was a producer of the album. Mm hmm. And it's due out when? 
It's out. It's been out. <laughs> it's been out. Well, yeah. as a matter of fact, it's been out one year. Uh, Saturday last last, last Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Wasn't that many. But it, they sold out. We didn't print, press that many. They sold out, and we haven't bothered to repress it. So. <laughs> well, that might be. What? It might be. It might have been a good decision. It might come up in demand again. It, they, we might press some more. Video. We're seeing waving hands here in the background. I think we're about to check out the video. Stupid. The video, the video mm -hmm. of uh, the Gear Daddies. This is your first. This is the world premiere of our very first video. The world premiere of the very first video. Shot by a famous. Shot by a famous uh, uh, producer fame. cameraman. Yep. <laughs> who shall remain nameless? Skip, skip. <laughs> <laughs> I take full uh, responsibility for the camera shots, but I do not take responsibility for the edit. So let's take a look at what we put together here for the Gear Daddies. Uh, this was also on a very, very skeletal budget, so we had to we had to work with uh, minimal tools and and get the best that we could. So let's take a look at that right now, live on TC Music. Here's the Gear Daddies world premiere. Stupid boy. So there you have it, the uh, Gear Daddy's first video with uh, some extra added features there. <laughs> okay, kill the audio and the, uh, thank you. Um, 
So that was a lot of fun to do. We did that over the course of about a week and a half with a shooting. I, I think we did about 16 hours of footage and we got a three and a half minute edit out of it and that uh, worked out pretty good. Most of the best stuff was left on the cutting room floor as it goes. But yeah. um, as far as the best stuff for your guys, um, is it all on this record, the 11 and the, 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 the LP, EP, LP? LP. LP and the single? You have a new? S the b we got a lot of, we've yeah, we have a lot of stuff since. So. It's the best of what we had when we put it out. But and you have demo tapes in the can of the new stuff? For mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's being shopped? Shop, shopped about. Shopped about. Shopped yep. about. You got any nibbles yet? Uh, we've Staying had with the fish yes. motif? <laughs> <laughs> we've, had a, we've had some. We've had some interest. I hate to jinx it, so. I hear you. Don't talk about More it. than two companies? Uh, closer interest. to 17, 18. <laughs> that away. Companies. It's a. F it's a it's, it's a feeding frenzy. frenzy. <laughs> <laughs> They're out there like a bunch of hungry piranhae, right? It's pretty much we just leave it to it. We've got a uh, we've got a uh, whole team of lawyers in New York and L.A. Um, and they take stuff. Over. They pretty much take care of all that. We've along with know, Duck, yeah. manager. We just pretty much sit back and take care of the creative end, you know. And that works out well for you. You don't ever get involved with the business it's at all. Fine. No, I'd rather not be bothered. with Because so many bands are forced into that position where they're locked into their own promo. They have to do their own PR, their own booking, their own money collecting, their own fighting for every gig. And I mean, we had, I personally, I I spend six hours a day just answering m mail, fan mail, and stuff. <laughs> and so to find the time to deal with the, the business end also is there's no way I couldn't do it. Well, you're lucky you've got that kind of response for your material. It's, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. it's a pretty, uh, pretty nitty-gritty business yeah. in this town for for your kind of material. I guess you, I mean, you can start taking it for granted. So when you play Vegas all the time, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes, you don't worry about that. You put on the big shows. So when are we going to talk about fish? Yeah. What kind of fish? What? I have a question. The opener. The bass hasn't opened yet, right? Bass mm -hmm. opener what's hasn't happened. Yet. I don't think so. What's no. the story behind this? That's the it's the part of the that's part of the prop department. This is called this is a soft prop. This here is a <laughs> soft prop and and it's not really like a hard prop like these chairs are. These aren't real chairs, these are made out of balsa wood. Don't get so technical. And uh, and the fish is just part of there to I mean it's it's there to add a little bit of interest as far as the sporting uh, so goes. what <laughs> distinguishes it from a soft and a harder prop is like the molecular density yeah, of exactly. the particular prop. <laughs> Indeed. Sure. Since no two objects containing mass can occupy the same space at the same time. Duh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and that explains why the drummer isn't put here. Put, put, an only got three put an chairs. Einstein shirt on Skip and he's going to town. <laughs> so what's, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, are you going to get a bite on, on this uh, demo stuff? Uh, so oh, Mike, this is a bite. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had a couple of nibbles. So. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of nibbles. Nothing yeah. in the frying pan. This yet. big yeah. one about this big got away a couple <laughs> of days ago. <laughs> no, I I don't know. It's uh, we, we may uh, we may just decide to do something ourselves again. Even we've had even though we've had some interest. some interest, yeah. uh, we might just do something ourselves again and then start over and, and show them all. Maybe get a bit. Maybe even get a better better offer. nibble or offer. Well, the more stuff you have out, that, that leads the uh, the A&R people to believe that there's a lot more. You're uh, more prolific, yeah. Yeah, like there's a, a more concrete base to work off of as far as your draw goes and things mm -hmm. like that. Any words of advice for bands that are coming from the from the skids or coming from uh, out out of state or out of city to, to break into this market? Because you've done it, you've you've gone through that routine, and you know what what kind of tribulations you run into. So just make sure you have your choreography down and <laughs> make go up. make Vegas a, get a first. good. Do not mm -hmm. skimp on on uh, hair or makeup. Special <laughs> effects, smoke. You can and never and have stuff. too much smoke. I remember when we first started out, we were using cheaper mascara, <laughs> just because it was coming right out of our own pocket. Yeah. And uh, with, with it lights. ran, especially for Billy. You get under the <laughs> lights and it runs, and it's just not worth it. Not his real name. Billy is not, not his, his real name. name. Yeah. We're, still, we're, we're still looking for a winner out. to that trivia question. We could make it easy. Those what does Billy coveted, play? Those, co <laughs> those coveted <laughs> tickets. <laughs> those coveted tickets and special perks. So you've got 40, cans or 40 songs of your own in the can, and, and you're always writing, always working on new stuff, coming up with new ideas. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you've got a following that's pretty outstanding for, for local acts. You can 
Yeah. You can draw in the house. We're happy about that. And it's a strange breed of uh, clientele, isn't it? You that's get, like that's the an understatement. You get the yuppie, you get the biker, you get the this and the that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> fish talk. You get the fishermen, you get the uh, deer hunters. We get, yeah, we get, you see a lot of blaze orange in the our The trappers. Shows. <laughs> yeah. A lot of camouflage, you see kind yeah. of moving. <laughs> blaze <laughs> orange. June 8th or something, what's that? June 8th. July 7th. July 7th. Don't yeah. forget. July uh, upcoming dates, yeah. What do you got for coming up? Ju oh, the July. We're we're doing we're opening at, at, at that's what we're talking about. We're opening the movies and music in the park uh, series. Uh, yeah. That's and July 10th. And Loring. That's what? July 10th. Oh, July, July 8th. July 8th is uh, or June 8th. June 8th. <laughs> why do we have, why is there Mark <laughs> out here? Telephone call. <laughs> Maybe that's my we're, call. We're doing a show on. at the Hyatt. That's it. Line oh, they're doing that. Yeah. yeah. Let's, <laughs> take line, let's take line one real quick. Hi, you're on TC Music. Yeah, is it Al? Al? <laughs> it's not Al. No, so let's go it. scare him anyway. Let's go scare <laughs> Al anyway. Let's. Go, what's is that the name That's of the record? Good, good thinking. That's though. the name of our record. The first album. Our album, yeah. First yeah. LP that we are soon expecting copies of. Any questions mm -hmm. for these guys? Yeah. Um, we really want another album. <laughs> there you go. S soon. There the you fall. go. More soon of a comment soon. than a question, but thanks for calling and yeah. have a good Labor Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Whatever. Yeah, you too. Work Here on your tan. Here is great. Work on your team. <laughs> thanks for calling. Line three. Hi, calls. you're on live. TC Music. Yeah, Gear Daddies are playing Saturday night at the Uptown. Yeah. Uh, June 25th at the Caboose. At the Caboose. And July 8th at the Hyatt. At the That's it. Hyatt. Thank you. Right. <laughs> uh, do you. Do you have a guess or do you have an answer to the trivia question? Uh, no. Okay. Well, take a guess. Take a stab at it. Uh, Robert. Robert. Very good close. Try, good try. Thanks for calling. Love you, pal. Yeah, that's Randy's show. A little more leg. Right? A little more leg. <laughs> 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 so, you've got a few dates coming up. What's this July? The gig in July is at the Hyatt? I don't know where July we're going. July 8th, yeah. Jin July 10th, we're at Lorraine Park. And July 8th is at the Hyatt with a bunch of other groups. With Run yeah. Westies and. Trip Shakespeare. Trip Shakespeare. And uh, there was talk that um, Abba. Abba might show. Abba will be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they'll just like be backup singers for all the groups, right? Oh, no, no, no. They'll be doing their own set. Oh, they'll you be opening them, the right? show. They open the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, no new records coming out yet, and uh, we've got some gigs coming up. Uh, hopefully, we're going to re be repressing the first album that's already been out soon. And uh, in the meantime, we'll be working, or are working on a new album. So Let's Go Scare Al. Go to all of your local record stores and demand that they get Let's Go Scare Al by the Gear Daddies. That's and right. Let's, let's get these guys out there because they are well worth it. I noticed like in the song Stupid Boy, for instance, mm -hmm. um, You're Just Another Stupid Boy is the hook line in the chorus. Now that sounds like, I mean, it could be construed a, a number of ways, but yeah. it's, are you speaking from the female participant in a relationship's yeah. point of view there? Yeah. Because, you know, because we right. can, we could we can be set some rumors <laughs> to rest here. At this yeah, no, it's, it's, it's written from the female's point of view. Because I, I first heard the lyrics to that a couple of months ago, and I thought, okay, what's all this mean? But it's, it's, it's kind of a turn as far as perspective goes, as far as your lyric writing goes. I mean, you've, you've got a different outlook for a lot of that thing. That yeah, I do a lot of writing from from others' perspectives. It's easier. It's easier. More <laughs> painless. Yeah. <laughs> to put yourself in her position. Right. Their position. I think they're, f they're flashing a one-minute sign. The so one-minute sign? 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds to go? What do we do for 30 seconds? Oh, in two weeks, we're going to have uh, Chan oh. Pauly in the studio as our, as our in-studio guest, and we'll be showing some of their footage. And uh, we won't be doing our big game show due to scheduling difficulties, so our summer season We'll be closing probably in the next couple of weeks with Chan Pauling and maybe a couple of weeks after that with another special guest. And uh, throughout the summer, we're going to have one-off shows here and there. And uh, we're going to try to keep you abreast of all the local stuff that's going on in the Twin Cities. And uh, we're also going to be showing a lot of repeats of previous programs if you didn't catch a lot of those, as I know a lot of you haven't. So tune in regularly Thursday, 9 p.m. on Channel 33, TC Music on the MTN Television Network. I'd like to thank at this time my in-studio guests. Nick, Martin, and Randy of the Gear Thank Daddies. Thank you, Skip. Thanks for coming down and sharing with us. Also, Mark Downey and, and Kelly. 
And Tony's here too. And Tony's here too. And Mabs, wherever you are. Jim. Love you live. Uh, Larry Case and all the guys from PJ, we'd like to say hi to. Also, we should tell you that Billy, our drummer, his real name is Jim or James. James is his real name. Right. So there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. Are we going to roll credits now? Do we have control well, saying credits? <laughs> We're going to roll the fish. Roll We're going to get fish. our fish cam back online here and roll that in a little bit. And What's the name uh, of the song you're going out on? The song Same we're going out on? Uh, tomorrow is too late. Tomorrow is too late. Oh. He lost his mic. I've done that Thanks for time. watching. See you in two Thanks. weeks. Thanks. Roll credits. They've only got two <coughs> minutes. And he turns his head. Right there. Turn your head. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Well, okay. You do what you got. <laughs> <laughs>